And what's going on, everybody? We're back here on the car that car vlog channel, and today, or this weekend, we're in Bristol with my folks and what's our up? brother Cameron again. What's up? What's up? I'm just being a jerk. To the uh, if you were here last year, you saw his silver Subaru upgrade 05 model, and it's that the same everything is black and no longer here. Now we have an 05 black manual, which has already been modified with these great headlights here the gold horns those gold wheels which look amazing against the black they're really dirty and yet they still look great the car is filthy and this cold start Inside. Okay, so before we continue the video, I just have to warn everyone, I did not get a chance to test out camera mounting places in this car before making the driving portion of the video. So, there's going to be some noise from the camera mount and where I mounted the suction cup mount. I seem to do this a lot, finding terrible places to mount cameras. So, Bear with me, it should be a decent video, and we're going to try again next time to make sure we don't have a bunch of nasty noises in our chute. Alright, I had to make a Walmart run, get this thing warmed up, and now we're going to drive it back home. Some acceleration pulls here. I hope you can hear those waste gates, that sounds really cool, or the blow off valves, my bad. Yeah, luckily it's about high enough. You don't have a problem. I wish I did for me though. Yeah. So tell tell me about this thing, dude. What you got going on with this car? Uh, I mean, it's an 05. It's mostly stockish. There's bolt-ons, catalyst exhaust, stock intake, stock turbos, to Cobb Stage Two tune. Uh, to everyone whose eyes just glazed over, look it up. It's simple. It's just a it's just a flash tuner. Um, D and D steering wheel with quick release. Pioneer head unit, NRG shift knob with parent short shifter and shifter bushings, radar detector, no headliner, I think I'm not custom headliner at the moment. Don't love the light, it's weight savings. No, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a long ladder without it here, so it, it definitely needs it. You can definitely hear that exhaust is real good in here. The exhaust is just a full straight pipe, nothing, nothing special. It, it's not any particular brand, it's just a custom I had my exhaust shop. Just a 3 inch down pipe going to stock mid pipe going to a dual glass pipe, natural pipe. And then like 20% window tint because I like to roll over. It's nice. It's a. I think it's, it's a nicer car. Within than all one. confines of the law. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, of course. Guys, I, I'll watch the. Uh, thing. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, this is the most, I think it's a nicer car than this old one, too. It is. It's, it, it had a lot less miles when I got it. It's in a lot better condition, and it's a man, so it was an automatic. Uh, more things that this has that the silver one didn't last time you saw it is it's got the, the uh, race line coilovers installed on it. It's got a set of 17 by 8 wheels with some 235 Firestone Firehawks. Um, the front brakes are the four pistons off of a 2007 WRX TR, and I'll eventually get the rear two piston calipers, but I've got to save up and get those and the adapter brackets. About to get green and see what this thing does from a dig. Uh, I don't launch it. No, you I, don't launch? I don't want to break anything. All right. It's an 
automatically, mentally going to drive all the time. You can manually hold it in the gears when you need, you know, to get out of a sticky situation or if you need to go slow. Or, or just, there's situations, but you're not supposed to do it for more performance. Right. Yeah, we got to bring some cops somewhere, so we're going to slow it down. You got to get over anyway, don't you? Yeah, I got to get over. It's kind of let me. Well, I do like it. These seats, I tell you what, are tight for my big butt. Yeah, I'd like to get some different seats. They're, they're, they're okay, they're just not comfortable. Yeah. Like on a long road trip, like a five hour trip to Atlanta for Import Alliance, your butt starts to hurt. I'd say it does, especially if it's this big. They're, they're hard. They're hard seats. They don't have a lot of padding. So but I'd they'll like hold to, you. Yeah, I'd like to get a, a set of Corvo LG1s, but those are $800 a seat. And then not to mention the brackets and sliders to make it fit. I'd like to see how this thing does on the twist euro. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll get a small taste of it out here on the back road if, if uh, there's no one in the way. Tell you what, you come down to Knoxville, you have a perfect time to get down the bridge. Yeah. Behind the, behind the nuclear plant that is uh, it's a highway. Yeah. And it's nice and twisty. I typically go up uh, 421 and then go out towards Backbone Rock, which that's a very good road to run. A decent speed at it's more of a high speed long sweeper type thing where most of 421 is tight low speed and technical right. which it's a good mix of both so if you want to do some tight technical and then go to the, some big long sweepers you have the option within about 10 miles is that gonna be more of a road for someone who's done it a few times um honestly 421 in my opinion those roads that how much you put into it depends on how aggressive it is if you drive at of your driving abilities, it's going to be a very challenging road. If you drive at 20% of your driving abilities, it's a very casual, laid-back road, and you can really take your time to perfect each corner. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, the harder you go, the harder it gets, and that's true with any road. Here we'll hold 55. Until we catch here. up to the CRV. Yeah, if this Honda wasn't here, I could probably hold 65 in this corner. The corner is very flat. There's, it's, it's very minimal body roll. That's nice. Yeah, but, but these coilovers, yeah, they're not. You can feel it. Yeah. But it's not scary. I mean, it's still on stock sway bars. Too. Yeah. So I mean, all it's done suspension wise is coil. Is that a future upgrade? Yeah, I'll do a rear sway bar, not a front, because when you stiffen up the rear sway bar, it tends to help with understeer because. Supers do suffer from quite a bit of understeer in the corner. So, maybe a tad bit more oversteery, which is more fun. Yeah, understeer is safer. It's an inexperienced fifth gear camera, not third. I'm not paying attention to the shipping. I'm talking about the shipping. I'm not paying attention. But um, a rear sway bar would help it feel more neutral. Because right now, if I really push it, The way I do it is I never drive at 100% of my capabilities or the car's abilities. If my ability surpasses the car, then I will drive at 90% of what the car can take. If the car surpasses my abilities, I'll drive at 90% of what I can take. And that's how you guarantee yourself a little bit of safe ground. Like we're doing 60, and this is like nothing. This is casual, typical pace, not all this road for me. But the car just feels like it wants to do. Right now, this car has more. I do because I'm not that experienced of a driver. So I'll push myself to 80, 85, maybe even 90 percent of what I can do. And because the car's got more in it, I'm never really at the, the edge of grip. I've never lost traction in this but a couple times. And that's when I was driving past my ability, which I'll never do. Because that's how you get yourself into trouble. So uh, mechanical power mods, anything planned for that? like to do big turbo fuel injectors but here's the thing it's all the parts in the engine are stock and the reason for that is one money it costs a lot of money to go big turbo and custom tune let's avoid this horrible bump but the thing is too it starts and drives and runs every time and it's reliable and so many people with supers have issues with that when they really start modifying them and i don't want that i want it to be reliable I see that. 
So well, if you're going to pump more power into it, you probably want to up your driving ability a little more first. Yeah, and I want to save up for a Supra, and if I start pouring money into this, then that's less money I can save. Right. So we're just going to... I can respect that. We're going to enjoy it for what it is for the time being. Maybe do one or two things. We'll see what the future holds. I might do a custom tune on this current setup just to optimize it. Flatten that cap. <laughs> I might just do it to optimize the current setup, but other than that, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Very nice. So I just took the camera down here real quick. So have a look at what he's got going on with the steering wheel. D and D wheel D &D with wheel. the quick release, so it can come off. <laughs> this is the spline lock, and not the bearing lock like the NRG. So I can't have a horn button coming through here. So I the lighting is I horrible. It, I put it right here on the side. But what the heck? Gold shift knob there. That's yep. nice. What energy the shift. heck is that? Horn button. Uh, no, not that. Oh, that's an awesome what horn. The heck is that? That's the little thing that makes it go fast. That's only slightly manlier than my horn. Do that again. Huh? Do that again. Oh, that's nice. That's funny. Well, it's supposed to have two tones, but one of them's dead. Don't forget your thing. I'll get it. So there it is. The impromptu drive slash review of Cameron's well, replacement WRX. I'll get some footage on my GoPro and I'll send it to you, hopefully. But, um, hopefully you liked what you saw, like that car. I, I liked it. It's pretty fun. It's, I, I wish it was warmer and we had better roads. It does pull, I'll tell you that. It pulls a lot better when there's less people in the car. It's not fast. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not fast. Oh yeah, you had me in there. You had me in there. You're going to slow it down. I forgot a seat and everything. We'll get it. But uh, if you like this, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at that car vlog channel. Hey, follow and me. here's uh, Cameron's Instagram me. right here, EJ205295. All, all I do is post pictures of my car. That's literally all he does is obsessed and with this maybe, car on there. Maybe which this beater of mine. Oh, yes. The, beater will make a the $400 Chevy Prism. The beater. Yeah, it's a pile. It's the, uh, what, what, is, what, what, what do they call it? The ho a hoop hoopty. Hoopty. The, it's a hoopty. That's what it is. The auto vlog, Mike, he got one of these. Bro. LSI. I think. LSI. Top trim. Yeah, I think Mike on Auto Vlog got one of these. It's hilarious. Premium. Premium. That's yes. beautiful. This Actually, thing is sexy, especially when, with the lights. When this was new, it was the top trim level, but it's a pile now. And look at this hood. Yeah, that's uh, after hitting a deer and having someone back into it. That, that, that's, that's hot. Yeah, tape on the light, dude. I like that. Killer. I love that. Oh. That's, that's, some, that's some JDM rust right I dig there. that more than my, my Kia. That's, that's awesome. Rust. Yeah, awesome. Oh, we got oh we got weight savings in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> door panels are gone. That interior door handle doesn't work. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's yeah. Don't show them my That's junk. That's awesome. I got a lot of junk in there. That's all right. All right. All right, we're done here. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, follow us both on Instagram. I'll link everything below. Y'all have a merry Christmas. Later. Bye.